Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you how to use your Coros app to create a structured workout. So let's get right to it. So one of the updates a while back from Coros was the ability to create your own structured workouts, whether that's a uh, run with you know intervals or uh, fart licks, uh, speed work of some kind. Uh, or you're doing a swimming, cycling, or uh, strength routine, you can create your own custom workouts. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to create a speed work session essentially. So let's get right to it. All right, here we've got the app pulled up. So we're gonna select the shield icon down here, click workout programs, and we're gonna create a interval session. So at the top of the app, you just wanna click create program, select the activity, which is run, name we're going to name this program so i'm going to delete what they have here and this is going to be a speed work session so we're going to do two by 12 minute interval okay so we're done there now we'll click on the warm-up here which is currently at five minutes and i'm going to change this to a 30 minute warm-up just scroll all the way down until you get to 30 minutes and now we're going to click on the run right here and this is where we can change the uh, number of activities or the number of intervals that we're going to be doing the intensity right now it's defaulted to distance i want to do time so i'm going to go time change this to 12 minutes lower this 30 seconds all the way down to zero click ok and the intensity i'm going to click on intensity and change this to pace you have heart rate pace power and cadence as options and for me, this is a uh, kind of a six out of the 10 on the perceived effort scale. So I'm gonna use seven minutes as my baseline. And we'll use the 715 uh, as the upper end. And we wanna do two sets. So we'll hit the plus sign to change that to two. The rest period, we're gonna change as well. So simply by clicking on it and go to six minutes. You can also skip rests if you want to. You can do it by heart rate recovery. Change that to heart rate below. I'm gonna go back to time and use six minutes. And now if I wanted to add a uh, higher intensity interval or a lower intensity interval to the same program, I can just click add and go and add another set, but I'm gonna delete that. Now for the cooldown, if you click time, you can change it to either time, distance, or open. Time is gonna obviously expire when that time limit is up. Distance will be when the distance, but I like open because open allows me to end the activity when I want to. It's not gonna end the activity for me when I run you know, a two mile cooldown or a 10 minute cooldown or whatever it is. I wanna run an hour, I can do that. And then I just stop the activity. So that's the way I like to do it. All you do then is click save. And now it is in the app, but to get it to the watch, click on that two by 12 minute intervals and click sync with your watch. And it's done. My watch just vibrated, it is there, and it's good to go. Now to do the speed work activity on the watch, hold the button down to unlock it. That's what I have it set to. Select it once, and we're gonna leave it on training. If you have it on whatever, just scroll and find training. And there it is right there. Two by 12 minutes with intervals. It says it would take an hour and six minutes. I'm gonna click it. We've got start, you've got mode, regular. You can select if you're gonna do a track and then select which track you're gonna do it on, but I'm gonna do regular run. View, warm up 30 minutes, run 12 minutes times two sets at the pace with the rest. Cool down is custom, so it's open. And then when you're ready, when you have GPS and you have heart rate, you just click start and it'll open up with the warm up. And as soon as that 30 minute warm up expires, it'll go right into the first set. All right, so there you go. Super easy and simple to do. Uh, you can create these as wildly as you want. You know, you can have a, if you want to create an interval that's a two minute run, three minute run, four minute, five minute, and then back four, three, two, one, you can do that. It's quite simple. So really huge kudos to, uh, to Coros for this because this is just something that a lot of people wanted. The ability to now, I use this at least once a week on my, on my speed work days to create uh, the workout that I'm going to be doing, whether it's you know, a six minute interval with a three minute recovery or whatever it is, super easy. So if this was helpful to you, I would appreciate if you would give the video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out more than you even know. So I would just really appreciate that. Uh, and also if you would consider clicking subscribe, if you have not already, 
Uh, that way you'll see future videos from me, uh, more Koros videos or whatever they may be. So, And if you want to take a look at the video I put together of how to use the breadcrumb trail navigation for the Koros, it's going to be right over here on this side of your screen. You can take a look at that. And then over on this side will be a playlist of some other gear reviews. You can go see the full review of the Koros Apex, this right here. So anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you on the next one.